What's up guys, I'm student Dr. Thompson, here to talk about medical school, my million dollar mistake. Stick around. All right, so I recently read an article that talked about how it costs a million dollars to become a doctor and that that's a mistake because no doctors like their jobs, statistically. So if you do the math, the average medical student goes into about $160,000 worth of debt. To pay that debt off over 30 years at 7.5% interest, it ends up being more like $450,000. In addition to that cost of a half million dollars, you need to add the income that they could have been making the 10 years that their colleagues from undergrad um, have been working and earning an income while they've be become a doctor and a specialist. Let's say the average medical student is smart enough to get a good job, it makes $50,000. That's $50,000 for 10 years, that's another half million dollars. There's your million dollar mistake. In crunching the numbers for myself, I'm taking out a lot more loans than the average person. $300,000 in debt at least, over 30 years at 7.5% interest, that number is $750,000. I'm three quarters of a million dollars without even considering how much money I could be making, you know, working for 10 years. I left a job that paid $70,000 a year. So $70,000 a year for 10 years is another $700,000. I'm looking at a million and a half dollar mistake, I guess. Why are they calling it a mistake? It's because of all the surveys that are done for all the doctors Primary care doctors really aren't satisfied with the work that they do. If you ask a pediatrician if they would choose their job again, only 46% of them say, yes, I would choose this again. If you ask a family doctor that same question, only 32% of them would say that they would choose that job again. And it gets even worse with internal medicine, only 25% of them say that they would choose that job again. So statistically, you have a really good chance of hating your job if you go into medicine. As I was thinking about all the doctors that I shadowed, not one of them really encouraged me to go to medical school. And they, they felt obligated to help me on my journey to becoming a doctor, but um, most of them had warnings for me about how hard it would be, how things were changing, we wouldn't make as much money in my generation, and there'd be a lot more paperwork and so forth. One doctor that I shadowed even told me that he wished he had become something else. Several that I shadowed had gotten a divorce and had expressed regret about that and how and blamed medical school for that. And I know that's not uncommon at all. I started thinking, you know, what kind of doctor will I be to those young students who are shadowing me? Will I be the same doctor? I challenge you to ask yourself, why are you going to medical school? Take away the speech that you've prepared for your interview that have all these pure motives. Take that away and, and really talk to yourself, why are you going to medical school? Why do you want to become a doctor? For me, I had a job that I absolutely hated. I sold toilet paper and floor mats to large companies. I would drive around in my car all day trying to drum up business. I remember a time when I looked up at a garbage, a garbage man and I, I thought, what would it take for me to become a garbage man? I would rather do that. As hard as medical school is, I come home happy every day because I love working hard. I have a skill as a doctor that no one can take away from me. This skill that I have is something that the world desperately needs. I came to school, medical school looking for a purpose, not for money, and I found that purpose. So was it a million dollar mistake? No. I don't think you can put a price tag on finding a, a purpose, a greater sense of self-worth and confidence. I feel like I can be someone that breaks that statistic, that I can like my job. I challenge you to ask yourself that same question. Will you break the statistic or will you hate your job? Think about it. Thanks for watching. Stick around for more great videos.